Hi, I'm Christopher Camp from the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota, and thank you for your interest in our paper, An Age-Based Approach to Anterior Shoulder Instability in Patients Under the Age of 40. In this U.S. geographic population-based study, we followed 654 patients with an average of 11 years of follow-up after initial instability. Not surprisingly, we found that younger patients were more likely to have recurrent instability and a higher chance of needing surgery compared to older patients. For every one year decrease in age, there was an increase of 4% in the chance of recurrent instability and 3% for needing surgery. That wasn't too surprising. The more concerning and I think interesting finding of the study was that younger patients were also more likely to have more episodes of instability prior to their initial presentation. On average, they had three to four instability events before their first visit compared to one to two for older patients. They also were more likely to present later on average three years after initial instability compared to older patients who presented sooner. So clearly I think there's a lot we need to do on educating our patients and providers out there in the field. Thank you.